Welcome everybody to Ashcom 5. Hello. It's Tuesday. We have another exciting game for you today. Leo versus Phenomenox. We'll see what they're playing today. Uh, today I have Flora joining me again. Hi, Flora. Hello. And not pictured on screen, but with us still, we have Lamarck. Welcome, Lamarck. Uh, greetings. Glad to be here. Yes, two, two of my friends from uh, the Ashes world here to talk games and just enjoy a good match. Last night's game was something else. I mean, it came totally down to the wire with two completely different takes on charm magic. It was just like a a poster child game for uh, the release. I thought it was really special. And it, still, we didn't see all the cards from the set, so I wonder what we'll have today. Both players are supposed to have something in their deck from the new set. I'm hoping to see Shimmerwing. Yeah, yeah. A whole That's my hope for the day. Yet. Yeah, will an Eternity Flame be summoned? That's uh, That's what I got my money on for the week. We will see two Eternity Flames summoned. <laughs> <laughs> but who knows? Uh, Everyone in chat, place your bets. How many Eternity how Flames many Eternity this week? <laughs> flames will be summoned this week? That's a good question. I mean, yeah, that, that was one of my favorite units to play in playtesting. Uh, I really like them in Aerodel personally. I got a yeah. nice Gates Thrown Open four book Aerodel featuring Shimmerwing. That felt pretty good. I saw go a couple of those games. Time. What's that? I saw I saw you run that a couple of times. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Lamarck, another playtester from our playtesting I've, server. I've got to try out some kind of rejuvenate Shimmerwing build. Oh, yeah. It, to get the Eternity Flame gives you the three tokens you need to refresh it. So, totally. Might be something there. Just a, a I'm always looking for Aerodel decks. Oh, yeah. Now, let's see. We, we saw Leo, the Phoenix Born, last night, but did not play any of the new exclusive cards. So yeah. still up in the air if we're going to see any of the four Phoenix Born featured in this set using their new cards. Uh, it would be really nice to see some of those at the table because they are strong. Venom Strike is definitely my favorite card of this set, so I'm hoping to see it. Yeah, yeah. I I, I love that card. I will, I will third that, I guess. Venom Strike is such... <laughs> I, I love it so much. Mm -hmm. um, I am probably most curious to see what people's take on Judgment is. Yes. Though. Oh yeah, so Judgment was like <laughs> the, uh, let me just check real quick with chat. Our, is our audio coming through okay? Balance alright? You can see everything before we start jabbering away all night. Uh, but yeah, Judgment was like the last the last, judgment. the last card we solidified. I think Judgment basically got finished like a week before we finished the set. Yeah. Yeah, like, it was right up until the end. It we was an entirely different, different card, and then we were too afraid of that card and just kept throwing things out and eventually landed on, let's just do a big flashy destroy everything, and it was perfect. Indeed, I mean, I, think... it, the, I won't say what the old judgment did, but we, when you're concerned that blood puppets <laughs> might be broken, you might need to go back to the drawing board. All right, I'm going to let was... our players know they are good to start, and we will hop in to our game. <laughs> it was definitely the kind of card that we couldn't prove was broken, but we were too terrified to let out <laughs> into the world. Yep. I do... I do want to note that the version before that card was infinitely more broken than that one. <laughs> yeah, it was... there there was a version that was just absolutely entirely broken for Red Rain specifically. Oh man, 
I'm glad I don't remember. Noah and Leo. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Leo not playing Leo. Leo facing Leo. Uh, Phenomenox piloting Leo up top. We see a healthy splash of charm magic. And this looks awfully familiar. What was... Uh, what were we playing last night? We had... Oh, Ceremonial. We had Ceremonial. Yeah, it's deck. definitely a different... Mm -hmm. Different sort of build. We'll see if this one maybe has some Gifted Rose in there. And Noah running a pretty uh, popular trio of magic types. Charm, Nature, and Sympathy seem to really work together in a lot of ways. Uh, just the way their conjurations all kind of synergize together. Uh, we've seen that one a lot way back when, even as uh, early as Miami's <coughs> release. In the in the upgrade kit, uh, that was pretty classic. Hello, Charlotte. Welcome, and Sarah Lazen. Hey, first time chatter. Welcome. Hope you're having a fun Ashcon. Um, enjoying ashes. All right. Our players are. Chosen their first fives. We got uh, three basic as the most for Leo at the bottom here. And oh man, when Noah's on the table, choosing who goes first can be a really powerful thing. If Noah goes first in round two, he can use that shadow target effect to exhaust your best book before you have a chance to use it in round two. So pretty, uh, pretty common for Noah to... Uh, choose to go second, and we see it there. There we go. <laughs> Just had to play Leo <laughs> against Leo. There you go. Oh, okay. Leo going for discarding at the start of what? Oh, picking up maybe so a free I draw think, with an Essence Druid. Uh, yeah, out. I assume we're going to see an Essence Druid come out. So we are trying to sort of give himself an extra card there. <laughs> Vesmas says, I'm rooting for Leo. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only fair way to go. All right, <laughs> Ash Spirit comes down, this little fellow. Ash Threatening another fatigue game from Leo. A card that don't see a whole lot of, I feel like. Yeah, this one hasn't uh, made the biggest splash out there. Uh, partly because it's a bit of a double-edged sword sometimes. You can end up hurting so, yourself more than your opponent, which is a difficult... A bit of a running joke that if you play Ash Spirit, you will inevitably deck yourself first. <laughs> The uh, the presence of Ash Spirit makes me wonder if we're going to see some Ryle tech that plays into some of the oh. new Zero Two stuff that's coming out in Charm. Oh yeah, Ryle the out. Meek came out with the release of Ash Spirit. Uh, definitely has <coughs> solidified Zero Attack as one of the strongest things Charm Magic can do. Just machine gunning down with a bunch of ping damage. Killer Cactus takes offense to the sheep hate. I'm not hating the sheep. I'm just making fun of it. <laughs> oh, interesting. More more Ash Spirit lately. Is it finally found its time? Now, in Red Maybe Rains, the Ash Spirit... It goes crazy in Red Rains. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, and I'll maybe people are seeing it work there and feeling more up to making it work in PvP. Mm-hmm. Okay, early anguish here from Phenomenox. So oh, cashing in that. A strong attack. round one move. Yeah, anguish round one. Okay. You don't want to lose any of those things that you started with, so very common to see it just turn into four burn for two basic. Not a bad deal at all. Let's see if Noah came prepared with a way to uh, soak the, some some of the effects of anguish with dice floating or extra card draw.
Targeting the die spun up by Magic Siphon. You better believe it. Two more wounds. Yeah. Now the high the high value of a round one anguish is a little offset by not investing that magic into the battlefield. Round one, it's really yeah. important to get your foot in the door on the battlefield, uh, just because you start with nothing. So you need to make sure you're established there. Here comes that essence druid we predicted, bouncing the Gilder book back to hand. What will it be next? This tame ability on the Essence Druid reduces the strength of units in battle with it, but I'm not sure how much battling this Leo deck is going to be doing. I've got to say, Tame 2 makes Essence Druid one of my least favorite cards to come across. Very often this unit yeah. just will stay around for the entire game. It's so healthy. It's got Recover 2 and the defensive ability on 4 life. It just it stays around forever. Unless they specifically target it with hard removal or overcommit to an attack, this thing will just stay. Here's the Ash Spirit. It's nice to see the sheep out and about. Welcome. Here comes the Gilder book. Setting up one special ping damage from summoning the Gilder. Definitely sets this apart from most other conjurations. Extremely powerful to get damage while developing your battlefield with a nice defensive unit. Ooh. Okay, meditating a hypnotize. This deck is looking <laughs> to do surprise. something big here. I wonder what it is that it's trying to do. Yeah. You can imagine some big units through the power of exhortation or confusion spores. There's there is this subtle bypass theme that exists in these colors that you have access to and with an orchid dove staring you down you're going to be really happy to have bypass on your side these are the most annoying blockers you can imagine <laughs> we saw well, hypnotized. Orchid dove really really shine last game squall stallion hit so it looks like we are <laughs> oh. Leo is looking to do an ex-grow horse here yeah, baby. Yeah. I think uh, Killer Cactus beat us to that. Some horse action. Oh, yep. <laughs> yep. KC calling out the explosive growth. Squall Stanley taking double the benefit from it, which we'll explain in more detail when it hits the table. But we're starting to see this Noah deck take shape. Hasn't pulled the trigger on Shadow Target yet. So was okay with the Ash Spirit coming down? Is Noah okay with the Orchid Dove coming down? Or should you save it for a third ready spell? Or just forget it all together? It's possible with that that discard and essence druid play that he's got an extra die to flex between shadow target or whatever he draws. Sure. Or something like that. Some sort of flex there for whatever he draws. Yeah, a random draw at the start of the game can definitely give you some optionality and unpredictability from your opponent. Big ol' Sunshield Sentry hits the table. One of my favorite knights in the game. But can you deflect? Can you block a horse under hypnotize? Here comes the Squall Stallion. What? Has X attack equal to the status tokens on it. 
also has that nice yes, inexhaustible that's... ability to put a card back on top or bottom of the deck, which could be really nice when fighting against a mill deck. Oh yeah, that's probably the reason for the discard into Essence Druid, actually, is to have an extra card nice. to pump up. Oh yeah, yeah, get the get the torrent started. Now that's a really good point. This can be a strong counter to abundance, forcing your opponent to eat cards they don't want to have and get that empty deck ready for all of these special abilities that trigger on an empty draw pile. And there it is. Abundance. There it is. There is the abundance. What a tech. The Squall Stanley says, no, thank you. I'll just put those cards back in my deck as much as I have side actions available for and make a bigger horse all the same. Uh, these Squall Stallions are really going to pressure Leo's ability with uh, to find hard removal. Uh, being a repeatable unit that you can summon out as a conjuration and representing this kind of counter to your win condition and its own win condition through bypass massive attacks, uh, Leo is really going to have to come up with a solution to Squall Stallion every time it hits the table. Our cactus is saying, you better hope he finds the redirect. <laughs> yep, yeah, redirect. It was it was a lifesaver last night, uh, stopping in yeah. exhortation attack for 14. Boiled 14, it down yeah. to dropping it down to six. six. Man, to pay one die to save eight damage. There's the abundance. Your salvation asking just curious if a precon deck has ever placed well top three to five in any of the official ashes tourneys after reborn was made available or have the constructed always outplayed precons i don't, I have any don't think precons have ever too. done i don't know that they've ever really been played much in any tournaments yeah that's, people have done special tournaments of like precon decks or limited constructed decks uh kind of uh, shrinking things down but, but when it comes to competition ashes is a fierce game and every advantage uh you leave on the table is gonna come back so um constructed is really at the heart of uh the ceiling that ashes competitive play can have but um definitely we pay great attention to uh, making the precons be interesting decks to play that function as themselves, but uh, when you have so much more you can do through constructed, you're just bound to have stronger decks. Here comes an attack. Hmm. Essence Druid swinging in. You know, there. I would block with that Ash Spirit and get this Essence Druid out of here. Yeah, I wonder if there's a trick. I'd, I'd be real here. tempted to that. There's a charm power die floating, which what can mean reaction? a number of things. What reaction could this be? But it can't mean a golden veil. Shadow blade, swoop, pow! There goes the glow finch. There goes the ash spirit. Yep. There we go. Drawing cards, more fuel for the squall stallion. Suddenly, this uh, sun shield sentry might be knocked out. Ooh, but loses a shadow blade from the glow finch which is pretty big for phenomenon that's there. a big gain yeah if that first shadow that's blade it. was any indication of how strong it was you're happy to mill a second that was well set up with that gilder ping earlier as well yeah, yeah. brilliant line and that's four cards in hand to pump into that squall stallion And two damage, Bonk and Leo on the noggin, trying to keep the Sun Shield Sentry healthy, knowing that that Squall Stallion has a very good chance of getting to that five attack breakpoint, which could threaten to take it down. Any amount of unit guard would uh, really help Phenomenox here, but we are out of dice, putting the last one into an Orchid Dove, leaving this Squall Stallion to truly have a reign of terror. Not much that can be done against it here. Oops. 
hopefully Sunshield Sentry can get a couple damage on it, but it won't quite be enough to take it out this round. And with that Gilder sitting there, that's not a happy attack to make either. Hey, the Squall Stallion's rushing in now. Accepting four damage for it. Or maybe it's just happy with the cards in their hand, not wanting to tuck any more under. Orchid Dove takes the block. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure about that. Well, we are running out of main actions you're able to do, and maybe uh, keeping this Gilder up to protect the Squall Stallion and placing another status token via Inheritance. Maybe yeah. Leo is interested in that. Ooh, String Mage hit the discard. Oh, more token manipulation and a status token focus deck. And the ability to truly punish some opposing strategies by manipulating their tokens. Interesting card. It has one of the weirdest costs in the game. You never see this because I think it's just kind of ugly. One power, one class. <laughs> what is going on? That is old school. <laughs> Gilder with another token on. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's a big horse <laughs> and uh, yeah he'll get one more on here before passing killer cactus has done a matchup similar to this sheep in abundance versus stallion was able to beat the horses but it is hard it looks like it's hard but it's anybody's game that was just round one We are moving in. Magic Siphon, nice to have in the mill matchup, too. Now, it's interesting with the Ashcon meta. I wonder how much people are thinking about the fact that everybody's going to be on charm. So what can I expect to have hit the table? What should I be preparing for? It's kind of fun to have these interesting like pocket metas that are only here for this week, really. And then uh, you're free to play whatever you want again, so... Nice to get some, it's always get fun. some gameplay, get some run time with the new stuff. Yeah, always fun having Ashcon really highlight all the new cards. Yeah, yeah. Now, Hypnotize is freshly chained, by the way, and it, it kind of comes into play here where you could just bring one of these in your deck, first five it, put it on the table, and you say, I got it. I don't need to find it. It's ready to go whenever. But now it becomes a bit more of an interesting card. It's on uh, Noah's mind here. I got to find another Hypnotize. I got to recur that Hypnotize if I want to do my bypass strategy. And that affects your deck building as well. How many should I put in the deck? Will I find that one? Or should I increase the chances of drawing it? It's a tough choice. Yeah. It's something here... Uh... If we are bringing out another Squall Stallion, something to note is that the ability doesn't just pump the one, it pumps all of them that you have out. So, Whew, double he can duty. start yeah. with two out. He's getting essentially two attack out of every card he pumps into it. Possible we see some other and, new and bypass tricks in the deck, both arrogant. Oh, here Ooh. comes a Neil. Neil oh, hitting both thought. those horses. <laughs> All right. Now, I will say they nature can. and charm both have access to some solid unexhaust effects. <laughs> Leo throwing up a Leo frown putting a face. frown face. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah. He is still able to keep pumping tokens into him. That's right. So yeah. It's. Omnox has really got to get him taken out. Yeah. Before next round. And this but. with Mill on the table with Glowfinch, there's totally a chance you can't find another hypnotize. You might lose your essence druids. You might lose <laughs> your hypnotizes. You don't have ceremonial to get the essence druid back. There's no guarantee hypnotize is coming. We'll just have to wait and see. Yeah. 
All right, let's see how uh, Phenomenox oh. takes advantage. Ooh, open, open memory. That might card. be grabbing a hypnotize. Or might need something to help out with these exhausted units. That really diminished your firepower this round, and giving a mill player a whole round to not be afraid of attacks is a tough proposition. Yeah. You can still pump the horses. Something we might see in these colors with both Squall Stallions, if they both live, could definitely see a big exhortation next round if these horses don't get taken care of. That's absolutely right. Exhortation. We saw it last night. It's unchained. Maybe some players are curious about exhortation once again. There's a really good color palette for exhortation as well, because you also have good status token um, light or power buffs uh, and explosive growth. Yeah, yeah. Explosive growth, pumping it up, all sorts of ways to pump up some damage. You can even throw a massive growth on the Squall Stallion to make it extra big and get double value from the exhortation. Here comes Anguish number two. Nobody on the Anguish. Gifted Rose. Where's the Gifted Rose? No. We're playing Mill Bernie Burn. Loses a Shatter Pulse at random. You don't see this card every day. No. It's a strong effect, but three dice is a lot to pay for it. Yeah. You really got to catch your opponent in the right situation, having your unit being destroyed and they have a high value threat they haven't gotten value out of yet with a little bit of dice manipulation in there for good measure okay so we lose the shatter pulse but we don't lose the dice keep the dice which is i think pretty frequently what you see with anguish and later it's in, hard to lose in the mid dice. rounds losing two dice is it's pretty rough although Worth noting that because Anguish costs two dice in a card, you do basically keep equal. Yeah, isn't that funny? <laughs> You're like, okay, is two car two uh, magic in a card worth my opponent maybe losing two magic in a card? And it turns out to be yes, because they do take the wounds. There's something about it. I don't want to lose that card specifically or these dice specifically. The threat of losing that based on the texture of the board and what's in your hand. Sometimes you just rather take the damage. But Leo's happy yeah. about that, too. It's a very weird card, that Anguish. Uh, Glowfinch drops an Essence Druid and Golden Veil. Ooh, there's that second uh, Essence Druid. Yeah, that's... Uh-oh. <laughs> we just talked about that. There could it's be one more. less way to get a hypnotize if it's not what he grabbed with that open memories. Oh boy. Interestingly, we haven't seen any book focuses or ready spells from Phenomenox yet. All of these cards have a focus effect. We have to imagine there's more of them in the deck. Abundance can help find them. Halfway through the round, both players sitting at about half their magic remaining. Oh, is that a heal that just got meditated off? Phenomenox meditates yeah, heal. Yeah, that's the second second one he's dropped. Hmm. Yep, a couple heals, a couple anguishes, and a beast Lots tamer. Beast tamer. Another strong defensive unit. And another sentry. Losing, losing a few good defensive cards there. Mm -hmm. And a little bird. Have we seen the Noah deck's new card? There's a Rose Gardener. All right. You passed the test. You did include a new <laughs> card. We have a Rose Gardener. 
Maybe more. We don't know. No, there's, there's Speaking one of those and one comes out. Seems like, hey, cool. Yeah, this seems like a great choice for the AshCon week. If you know Mill is a likely potential problem you're going to be going up against, saving yourself the meditates against low mill opponents, Rose Gardener really can kind of get the edge on dice if left unchecked. And nothing to prune. Yeah. Pumping up his horses a little more. Oh, yes. Nominox really has got to figure out some way of taking care of these this round if he can. Otherwise, he's still in big trouble next round. Yeah, and with uh, Phenomenox at the top of the round, we could see another kneel. Uh, Noah's got to be careful down here about filling up the battlefield against another possible kneel. <laughs> Unexhaust could be just what the doctor ordered. But no sign of it yet. I, I'm so curious what the Open Memories was for. Maybe we've yet to see it. Yeah, it's still... Let's see Hypnotize get put down late this round, maybe. Oh, Phenomenox Med's in abundance. Do you have a plan to get that back? There's always Recollect in Time Magic. You can find all copies of a ready spell in your discard pile, matching one on your board. Ooh. Second Sun Shield Sentry. Another Sun down. Shield Sentry. Just putting up. That's a eight. solid defensive wall having two sentries out. But it doesn't mean much if the Hypnotize gets put down. That's right. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> he got the Hypnotize. Is... Yeah. Whoa. I, you know, I bet that was the open memory find. This matchup seems I, to totally sure. hinge on whether or not Hypno is available. Putting a charm die on the Sun Shield sentries to keep it from being able to do much to those horses. It also means that sentry doesn't trade out Gilder, so the Gilder can roll over for a round. Mm, a little bit of bonus value. I haven't seen Abundance triggered yet. I'm wondering if um, Phenomenox is holding off on that because of how much those horses love having cards in hand. Ooh, yeah, that's see, right. Dealer's choice. Hey, dealer's choice. We got a new card alert. New card alert. I would. I'd probably look to force the choice between the big horse and the hypnotize here. Wow, you can double stack them. I believe so. You sure can. Yeah. Not yeah. every exhaust effect lets you do that, but this is one of them. And wow, this is going to be a tough choice. You can guarantee a horse stays exhausted. I would almost Ooh. say horse or gilder. It looks like he might have gone for both horses there, which I think is the wrong move. That little horse isn't too much of a threat yet. With the hypnotize on board to let the big one through. Yeah, that's going to be tough, but maybe... Maybe a kneel? I guess it's just a, a hope and a prayer. Do you get a kneel or not? Very interesting to see the two ways yeah. these decks are kind of trying to dismantle the other person's uh, battlefield presence. Worth noting Hypnotize here. Go straight through it. Exhaust to stop the attack altogether. Worth noting, Phenomenox finished that round with the same two dice, or sorry, Leo finished that round with the same two dice that Phenomenox targeted with the Anguish earlier. Oh no, so you could have. Really shouldn't have, shouldn't have taken those wounds, it turns out. Who knows? It's hard to yeah. give up those two dice. Yeah, but you hate to float it. Keeping powers into the next round isn't a bad thing, though. Yeah, in a mill Nothing matchup, else. every power die is juice. There's a nine attack horse ready to go through with hypnotize here. <laughs> That's 
Farewell. Oh, farewell. Getting rid of that horse. Huge. Is there? There's the veil. Pull though. the veil. Yeah. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> oh, a three to one oh, dice swing. That's a rough. And the massive threat remains. And because the farewell took the side action, there's no metting up for a power die for a redirect. Oof. So there's. And just, There's no yeah, protection just here. Time, time for a hypno swing. <laughs> yeah, since hey, he was saving there we go. We get the, the answer. Why didn't you lose those dice to anguish? Says I was saving that. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and saving it was the play. Check that out. In a huge position to bank nine damage against Leo. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Noah's turn. Uses the hypnotize, sees the opening. Cannot be blocked or guarded against. No reactions on the table, as far as I can recall off the top of my head. Here comes the nine, and it connects. I think, I think with those dice, is stasis technically possible? I think that's the only thing I could think of. Like, yeah, stasis would be the only, yeah. the only thing I could see coming out. Gosh. Does not have it. So that's a big hit there. And drum piles are basically the same. So the mill plan has not hit very hard yet with those horses pumping the abundance cards back in. And Magic Siphon still open this round. You gotta love Magic Siphon. It always gets the job done. Ooh, Ash Spirit. Have we seen a Shadow Target yet? Uh, I'm do not, not sure so. that we have. I don't think we have. It says, have you already spells? Abundance is one of those cards that, like, when I first saw this, I knew Ashes is just different. <laughs> like what is going on? This is so hardcore <laughs> of a card. Oh, now we see a shadow target. All right, no more doves. <laughs> Stop milling. I know the doves. Nice pair of guilders out there to protect those uh, horses as well. Oh, yeah. Any possible incoming attacks. Always got some unit guard, and we didn't see a kneel at the top of the round. And with uh, Leo only having eight life remaining, we're going to need uh, Phenomenox to come up with an answer to the Squall Stallion. Because Noah has top of round, and as long as they roll two charm dice for hypnotize, that bonk's coming in for the for the end. Yeah, redirect could still redirect. Redirect. Come up next round. Dealer's choice would also another dealer's choice would also be very clutch here. Yeah. Ooh, you stop either hypnotize or the big horse. Or the big horse. Yeah. Nah, even that, even the smaller horses 
looking to come up as being threatening pretty soon. That's right. How many Especially side actions do we have? Yep, Gilders will punish any uh, progression you try and make on the battlefield there. How are we doing on the deck? What's the deck doing? Nine. Nine versus ten. ten. That's so. not too much, Mill. Nine no. versus ten. Although we haven't seen the Glowfinch pop yet. Yet this round. That gets the mill done fast. Looking yeah. at Leo's board, I'm not sure there'd be a lot of swinging that he'd want to do into Sun Shield sentries and uh, and a Glowfinch if that came out, though. Yep. Well, we see a target on the Sun Shield sentry. Thinking about an attack here. Uh, let's see. Your salvation says agreed on abundance, setting this game apart. I felt like that when it first came out with Jessa Nani. You're talking to the biggest Jessa fan out there. <laughs> <laughs> Just something about how those sacrifice interactions work to really set the game apart. Yeah, I remember playing that deck in playtesting and like manipulating around the moon tokens and all that stuff. It's just like, man. And the magic types being different, I was like, yes, ceremonial, that's pretty familiar, but like charm was so distinctly different. Illusion, so different. All right, coming in for a bonk on the Sun Shield Sentry. Tame, cutting it down. Getting a Shadow Blade situation. Shadow Blade. Looking for some card draw. And getting rid of that Rose Gardener. And the Ash Spirit. Yeah, second Ash Spirit getting chipped away by the Shadow Blade. Sarah Lazen uh, says, yeah, it's interesting. How card advantage of mill works in this game. Definitely different from any other TCG I've played. Agreed. Isaac's a smarty pants. I think Jessa was probably my second most played uh, Phoenix Born back in uh, first edition. Yeah. So. <laughs> She's one of my favorites. Yep, we love our Jessa. Okay, thinking about a dealer's choice. I don't yeah, think... I think uh, you've got to go big horse and hypnotize. Yeah. All right, Thanks. little horse gets exhausted yeah. yet again. It doesn't... It doesn't say what got targeted, but I'd yeah, assume it's both horses. Horse. Yeah, that seems like a, a both horses situation to me. Can't imagine that you target the little horse and not the big one. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We we could still see some powerful removal from Phenomenox here. Something like a fade away. Two shadows are ways for that illusion yeah. die or even a time die could make sense in this deck as a way to take out a, a threat and maybe even saving it until you get that uh, exhaust confirm on the little horse like okay got the little one out of the way let's finish off the big one with a surprise fade away all right string mage comes out string mage slinging tokens what are we going to do with that? You can move your little horse tokens over to the big horse. Yeah. You can move moon tokens around. It takes time, though. Yeah. Spring it's, Mage takes time. This is already pressured for side actions on all the torrents, so I'm not sure how much String Mage will get to, will get to actually move anything around. True. Although we'll see how much more torrenting needs to be done. Eight is all you need to hit. Yeah. He's got lethal. If, the best, if nothing takes care of that horse this round. Ooh. No redirect. Rose Gardner. Rose Gardner. I just like them. They're cool. With, with drops, something to prune. Yeah. Something drops one token <laughs> off the horse. Yeah. Take that. 
<laughs> we can also get that last basic up to something usable if uh, Phenomenox is, is running low on basic things. Yeah, and you need those charm power dice if you have redirect. Mm -hmm. Interesting to see how uh, the carryover power dice makes such a big difference. Not even taking the chance. Oh, am I going to roll the power dice that I need? Saved that power die just for the farewell. Cancel it with Golden Veil. And now we're seeing the same dynamic on the opposite side with the possibility of redirect. Yeah. Unfortunately for Phenomenox, there's no top of round window for. Ooh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. See an embrace. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> what are you going to do about that? Embrace. Uh -huh. Interesting. After any player's Phoenix Corn is oh. dealt damage, discard this spell and prevent it. So this can just entirely stop a hypnotize. Uh, Leo giving it does not to their get taken off. Play. And the embrace will not get taken off by any fatigue damage. So if Leo can get to a fatigue state, then. We'll have to see. Man, we'll have to I see mean, Leo crash in some sort of chip damage before he can send the hypnotize. Could you ask for a better showcase of embrace than stopping <laughs> yeah. a incoming lethal swing at the end of the round? <laughs> Top of next round. This card is this card's special to me. I really like it. Well, now with the, the turn one lethal off the board, there's a chance for a pretty big kneel next round. Nose mm -hmm. battle feel totally full. Whew. An another awesome game. We, we were at about this point last game where we were like, wow, this is really getting down <laughs> to it, and I still don't know who's got it. That embrace was just the shakeup Phenomenox needed to stay in the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it says the horses just want to give you a hug. <laughs> <laughs> just a nine damage hug. Oh. What? That was Whoa, a good guard. guard on the... Why would you guard that? Whoopsies. <laughs> interesting i that's a mistake that embrace was what was keeping you alive unless you've got another one it's possible to put down here it's possible and you want to keep the rose gardener to just spin up that die for it i guess but oh, yeah barring hey, another embrace that's us what do you know, Phenomenox? Does have time to set up another one. We can yeah, see, uh, see Rose Gardener spin the die up, main action put an abundance down, and then next turn you got the embrace pass. So they're the only one with the answers. We don't have the hands. Yep. Those those two horses at the bottom getting very big. <laughs> yeah they are yeah <laughs> not, not a single horse has been destroyed right these have been around since nope. uh no. their debut they haven't even been touched really yeah i don't think we've ever even seen a damage on them lots so, of exhaustion they've just been them. kept locked down lots of exhaustion I was just saying in the playtest chat today when I was designing some new cards, I was like, I really do like cards or uh, magic types to have access to like exhaust and unexhaust effects. Just make sure the battlefield dynamics have that extra layer to them. Sometimes in these slower games, the battlefield gets locked up and neither player is going to be able to really swing through. 
but the exhaust and unexhaust dynamic can really change that. So maybe look forward to more of that in the future with some release. All right, this uh, orchid dog just, just burning uh, some mains attacking for a main birds. action. So maybe there isn't another embrace about to come down. We don't know. Or maybe there's an embrace but no abundance. Yeah. Could see a third anguish any time as well. If you can catch your opponent with no dice, bonk, the damage goes through. Same thing goes for the hand. If you torrent all these away, you might get burned. Another torrent, and even that little that little horse is nearly lethal now. So that's right. Yeah. There's the second. And there's embrace. another embrace. We were all tricked. <laughs> there was another <laughs> the whole time. So yeah, opted to keep that rose gardener alive so that. He does not have to mill himself meditating those charm dice. Was that what the guard was for? To protect a rose gardener? Yeah. yeah. Word. All right. Yeah. I think that was a rock solid play then. You know you had the other one ready to go. Even if you ping away that embrace with who knows what. In these colors, there's not a lot. Not a lot of direct damage. You could maybe get a Sympathy Pain. Maybe? No, because you can't even play Sympathy Pain if the Embrace is up. So how do you get rid of it? <laughs> I mean, there are two Nature Die in there. Could Molten there be gold. a Golden deck? It just Possibly. goes through. It doesn't stop the Embrace. Molten Gold bypasses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's true. Wow. It is placing oh, man. The lore of this card just got a lot worse. <laughs> My own yeah, you can like, keep hugging while you yeah, pour molten gold on don't, someone. Don't That's mind, fine. Uh, this molten gold, Rin. <laughs> keep hugging. <laughs> yeah, molten gold placing wounds. We don't do that very often anymore. It certainly has made it a legendary card. That small distinction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A meal here would be pretty big. Totally shut down Noah's battlefield. Rose Gardener targeted again. Will you guard it this time? All right, a little gardener action. Chooses to just trade them. All righty. Opens up a battlefield slot. And Noah. Hitting the exhaust button, taking out the Ash Spirit potential. Still no focuses from the Leo, and we're in round four. I think we've only seen one other copy of a book, and it was that Meditated Abundance. Yeah. Let's see if yeah, where are they, they come out now, or... There goes an Ash Spirit book. Losing one. Take, there. Taking a Divine. Ooh, what you got? Clicking with the one divine. That could be a kneel. That's what I would be expecting. I'd expect a <laughs> kneel. That is one thing you have to worry about when playing against charm is on exhaust. I think there's yeah, high one of the higher volumes of on exhaust hiding in. And there it is. In charm. Yeah, I think with that kneel, the right play probably would have been to not counter that Rose Gardener so that you don't give him that extra extra battlefield slot if you're going to kneel everything. Oh, yeah, you could have done a full lockdown yeah. there. Nevertheless, the horses have been nullified, 
and the embrace remains. What will Leo do in this locked down position? Despite getting through with that one bonk. Here's an essence druid. Essence druid. Grabbing another hypnotize back. So no more uh no more messing with hypnotize with dealer's choice. Dispel could remove the embrace. Now there's a clever solution. In basic magic, no less. We could see it at any time. It also sets up uh, the second hypnotize this round sets up an easy cheap bonk with that essence druid if sure if they're trying to get rid of yeah. embrace. <laughs> Man, I don't know if I've ever seen hypnotize paid for twice in a single round. That we that could, could be the solution it. we need. Everything is riding on these stallion hits. Phenomenox currently lower on deck than Leo is, so. Yeah, that torrent really is helping. This mill plan's the not the... working well against these horses. Yeah. Heads off a of beast tamer. One card deeper in a game quickly approaching a fatigue ending. Loses a farewell. Ooh, loses a farewell. Ooh. That would have been nice to have in hand with all that charm magic. Out comes a dove. Still paying charm magic for those. Yeah. Has not focused it to get the flex basic cost, which really takes these things to the next level. I wonder at this point, the only six cards that we haven't seen, are they, did they just get totally buried or are they not in the deck? It's hard to, hard to imagine just running one, but it's possible. Yeah. Orc Dove gets pinged away, loses another Gilder book. That's okay. Good play there using the Gilder book just for the ping, even though you've got your Gilders out. Sometimes yeah, that once, the, once the game gets still just worth it. Yeah. Yeah, once the game gets to kind of this locked battlefield state, not a lot of cracking through to be done with traditional swinging, the the value of what a die gets you can change dramatically, where, yeah, you're happy to just take a ping and forgo an entire gilder if it means making progress where you need to. The, that's where the game really starts to shift to card advantage mattering, dice manipulation really mattering, and the battlefield presence uh, has limited limited viability as opposed to the very beginning of the round where it's like if you leave yourself open you might just get knocked down real quick so leo has successfully taken this game long as intended and has set up a very nice defense this round through kneel and embrace but is it enough to get noah down to zero still a long way to go in terms of cards and a life. Yeah. There's the last anguish. Okay, what will it be this time? Taking two wounds, not losing any cards, and attempting to lock out of the... sympathy. Sympathy is interesting. All right. Noah thinking about it. Taking it Still as wounds. Got a plan for the dice. 
So that's Jeez. that's ten wounds on Noah, and I believe all of them have been from anguish. <laughs> yeah, I think so. So not not bad burn from that. Yeah, but not quite enough. And your Phoenix Born exclusive does a uh, ten out of the sixteen you need. Feels pretty good. Your salvation. Oh, here's an attack. Thing, maybe. Wait a minute. No blockers. The embrace is gone. To pop off the embrace. I mean, it makes is sense there a without third those one? extra books. Leo's eventually going to run out of things to summon. Did have the glow finch. Didn't it set up a glow finch for defense there? Could we see the third embrace? <laughs> the third. If he plays another card from his hand, he is taking fatigue. Top of round. Ooh. So. Remember earlier when I said that we joke that if you play Ash Spirit, you get decked first? <laughs> <laughs> Here it is. Oh, no. <laughs> the prophecy has been fulfilled. <laughs> At least he doesn't have the Ash Spirit out to burn him, though. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that smolder ain't doing anything against Squall Stallions. And uh we have only that... seen two Neils hit the discard. Which means there could still be a third one next round. Keep the board locked down yeah. one more round yeah, and try to get through that. We'll have the Neil at the top of the round. Oh boy. So there's also that illusion power die sitting up top. A two shadows, perhaps. Well, with all the dice fixing, if uh Phenomenox doesn't have another play for it, could force a reroll of a couple of those charm power die that have been spun up nicely. Yeah. All could right. definitely. Take another torrent. We just got one too many charm powers to spin down for a farewell. But that might be what. What Phenomenox is sitting on with that illusion power and those three charm powers is hoping to spin down and farewell a horse without Golden Bale. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. Yep, just patient. It is. Keeping up. It does end up being essentially four dice to get rid of one of those horses, though, which is a tough sell when the other one can still kill you. They've both made it to that critical level. Hit the abundance button. Now, Phenomenox is decked now, which means abundance without being focused will start burning, burning him if he uses it. Ooh. And it is just more fuel for the horse fire so at this point i'm not sure that matters <laughs> both of them hit for lethal so this is making me seriously consider like squeezing in a 1x squall stallion book just in a deck if i was like ah oh, man i don't know about the mill matchup <laughs> it, it it's so good and I really just like pivot your deck to stallion if you suspect abundance. I think a strong deck, a really strong deck, has the ability to have those minimal investment, huge pivots to counter other builds. And ready spells are designed for that because you can use them multiple times throughout a game. They don't just go and do it. So changing the texture of your spell board to completely shift gears and counter your opponent's main strategy is a super strong thing you can do in the game and we're seeing the potential of squall stallion tonight
Stallions are That's actually <laughs> devastating. Yeah. Ooh, okay, just meditating off the abundance for power pass. <laughs> ah, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Change Psyche! It's a non-exhaust card! Ooh. One exhaustion off the Squall Stallion. All right. We haven't seen any redirects, so either... They're all in his hand right now, or he doesn't have it in the deck. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so we're about to find out. Or possibly see a third embrace hit. We've only There's only two in the discard, so a third embrace could hit here. Absolutely, it could. Does have the dice for a hypnotize should a blocker come down as well. We've seen beast tamers. Oh, there it is, the third embrace. Third embrace. Wow. We're also expecting, you know, third kneel in hand. You got to assume there's another abundance in there. We might be able to calculate the hand right now. There's the Orchid Dove book. So everything that's left very likely is one abundance, one kneel, one Orchid Dove book. I don't think Redirect is in the cards. And probably one more Ash Spirit. Ooh. Only three cards. Maybe. Ash Spirit also does see... only need the Focus 1, but usually, usually you do three. Here comes the Bonk. <laughs> Jeez, Embrace. Preventing... Epic lethal yet again. Embrace has put in work, but don't know that it'll be enough. I'm super happy to see that change psyche in here. It's a really versatile on exhaust as well. Yeah. You don't just have to unexhaust your own unit. You can exhaust something that's slightly more terrifying. Yeah, what it uh, what it lacks in efficiency, it more than makes up for with flexibility. And like I was saying earlier, these games where dice efficiency starts to matter less and less, flexibility raises in potential, and that was exactly what you needed. One die for oh. fourteen damage heals. Farewell. Sounds good. That's right. Farewell to get rid of that Squall Stallion, and there's no Golden Veil. No Veil. That, that hits. That drops three cards, so that starts to get the mill close to online there. Ugh, losing another change psyche. That's tough. <laughs> Wave says one dice for 14 damage heal seems good, yeah. Yep. Prevented what, eight earlier as well? Yeah. Embrace has been... Embrace is... Absolutely at its ceiling in this game. Mm -hmm. It's exciting. I like seeing the card working uh, as intended. Another hypnotized down. Embrace was another one that was that we had a little hard time finding its rhythm in yeah. for uh oh, play yeah. yeah. It was doing some wonky stuff for a while. Yeah, it's not the Embrace. not the kind of bread and butter card you might uh always expect an Ashes card to be, but I really like throwing in some wild variability with the power of a card to keep games exciting. Like we're seeing today, Leo taking three fatigue damage. Ah, you can't sustain much more of this. How are you going to close it out? Let's see if there's another Neil or not. That's that gonna Neil's be... going to need to be meditated up, which that's the hard part. Yeah. Oh, oh man. That... No single divine. Drop your... That single divine basic hurts. Okay. 
Okay, I wonder what we have left in Noah's hand here. Could, could have the Golden Veil now. Okay, Beast Tamer Beast comes, Tamer out, comes that down, Neil. so that's probably not a Neil. Unless there is one redirect here, this is it. Ooh. I just have the completely wrong call on what was left in hand. I get every card wrong. <laughs> Hypno swing. And GG that's GG. from Phenomenox. Leo takes the game with Horse Noah. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, that's a hard matchup to break through. Yeah. Abundance versus those horses. That's just yeah. So cool. giving them everything they want. So. Punched through the embraces without anything fancy, just brute force. I, these stallions <laughs> will be hitting. <laughs> Super cool game here. We're seeing distinct gameplay every night here at Ashcon. It's also really nice seeing these charm cards truly shine in in some really unexpected fashions, which is amazing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, could you ask for a better showing of Embrace? Farewell. Yeah, in some serious stuff. Golden Veil countering it. It's one weakness. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What Golden Golden see? Veil on a big farewell definitely hurts. Yep. That's... Excellent stuff. Thank you to <laughs> our competitors. Leo and Phenomenon. No, not so saying the squall made me cry a little. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your heart breaks to see that one. Oh man. Excellent game. Yeah. Oh, Leo was prepared for it. Made this deck with abundance in mind. I thought it was a pretty good chance I would see it. That one illusion die can often be a tell for abundance. Yeah. You don't need a lot of illusion to support a mill strategy, so one die will do it. Yeah, thanks so much, everybody, for tuning in for another game of AshCon. I have our game for tomorrow lined up. I don't know if any of you all hear, but I'll post it in the Discord. We have, for Wednesday, Shadowfire versus the Chong Master. We'll see you tomorrow. All right. It'll be a fun one. Forward to that. All right. Uh, I'm in shambles over here. Zero Eternity Flames. My bet is not going well. I still need to see two. <laughs> Bring them out, people. What's up there? It's, uh, is that the only non-unique card we haven't seen? I'm What's not that? sure. I'm trying to think oh, that no, may be the that. only non-signature card that we haven't seen yet. Generally. And also probably forgetting something. Oh. Um check the list real quick we know shimmer wing has not been played yet on stream we saw chimera armor we saw arrogance but it was meted mm -hmm. yeah, yeah i think that's it and zero phoenix born exclusive cards what <laughs> yeah. yeah people gotta gotta bring these we gotta show them off Oh no, they're conspiring against me. <laughs> I, I'm still holding out hope that someone brings Venom Strike. Oh, <laughs> Phenomenox is asking about any plays. You had us all surprised there with the first embrace. We're like, you guarded it. Oh no. <laughs> and then the second one came down. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. Sweet. Uh, let's see. Any other questions? Anything to talk about? We could chill for just a second, but we'll wrap things up soon. <laughs> Phenomenal. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I didn't think about it. <laughs> Race was definitely. I think we went through 
a solid few weeks of constantly going through revisions of Embrace that everyone hated. Yeah. Before we landed be, on this. I think it was heal three damage from each Phoenix yeah. at one point. It, there was a heal three from each that everyone was like, please, God, don't. <laughs> and it was like a heal two it, and it, draw for each player. Yeah. I think, because I think it started as a kind of heal card when Burn Meadow was mm -hmm. still strong, but then by yeah. the time we were really getting into the set, it was like, we don't need that anymore. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, because Blight of Neverset had a really weird timing window for its development cycle because it was it kind of started development right as everyone was really getting into Corpse of Euros. That's right. Yep. So we were seeing Pact and Burn and all that kind of shine. Yeah, the uh, the Brennan Arata hadn't even gone through at that point, I don't think. I don't think so. I well, yeah. I joined the playtest a few weeks after that. I think. Okay. Yeah. If I'm remembering right. Right around the same because yeah, so that, it had already been. That was a late in the works for a while. A late addition to the Frost Wild set. The Arata went through. We've got a question in chat. Any lore on Chimera Charmer? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're cool they're really cool <laughs> they fly around and take care of uh, <laughs> bad guys <laughs> I don't know <laughs> Boy, says her like armor kind of looks like silver oh, okay. snake scales now we're cooking yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. that's intentional oh, yeah. Easter. <laughs> I won't confirm or deny whether it's true <laughs> Observation. Everyone, tell Nick what the lore is for Chimera Charmer. Yep. Honestly, that's how it goes. <laughs> it was fun doing uh, three silver snakes in the art again for Mayoni. And would you no. believe this? We almost had two silver snakes in Ashes Reborn. But really? at the last... Somewhere at, towards the end, I was like, nah, one's good enough. I think I needed uh, I needed some card slots for other issues, and <laughs> definitely Mayoni lost some of that classic identity, but more than made up for it with the single Silver Snake dominating tournaments for all of Ashes Reborn's history. So <laughs> I'm feeling really glad there's not two snakes out there consuming... <laughs> That's for the Squall Stallions now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, Waves. Great game yesterday. Cool. Interesting, actually, that Leo's deck didn't have any explosive growth, I don't think. Oh, yeah, we kept thinking that. So Or Exhortation. Yeah, two easy cards to... Boost those horses real quick. Yeah, you know, it could be one of those I've meta almost... calls. If you're expecting everybody to be on some slow charm mill baloney, you're like, okay, <laughs> torrent will be plenty. Yeah, I don't know. I'd almost slot in a time into that deck and try to even accelerate that and the hypnotize. And oh man, I've done the triple yeah. accelerate. <laughs> Squall Stallion attack once in my life, and I think I beat. What, double accelerate, X grow, exhortation, hypnotize Squall Stallion. <laughs> yeah, that's disgusting. Someone make that happen. Fred say horse cheese, yeah, but Throwing a whole new version of horse cheese imagine. where you just get every every buff that you can throw in there. Get them all in. All righty. Well, I think we'll call it there. Thanks so much, everybody, for tuning in tonight. See you again tomorrow. Hope to see you there. Thanks, Flora and Lamar, for streaming with me. It's always great to have chats. Yeah. Fun to be here. Yeah, great to be here. All righty. All right.
Later. Bye, everyone. Hasta luego.